Thank you for watching CDC Network, the network for hypochondriacs and medical students. We'll return to our regularly scheduled programming after these short messages from SAPT, Students Against Prion Diseases. Thanks for watching! In the movies, eating bad meat is all fun and games, but in real life, it only leads to death. Learn the facts. Since 1996, transmissible spongiform encephalitis has killed 3,018 people. That's a lot of deaths. In 2013, there's 206 cases alone. Transmissible spongiform encephalitis. Ugh. Have you ever considered becoming a vegetarian to avoid prion diseases such as mad cow disease? The more you know about prions, the more you realize they occur spontaneously or can be inherited through things such as GSS syndrome, Gertzman Strasser Schneicker syndrome, or FFI, fatal familia insomnia. You can even catch a prion disease at the doctor's office through contaminated instruments or infected tissue transplants. So you keep eating your hamburgers. There's nothing we can do for you anyways. You're at the farm. You're playing with your cow, you're frolicking, you're having a good time. But all of a sudden, you notice that your cow is having trouble walking and seems to be having issues with muscle coordination. It's all fun and games, right? Wrong. Your cow is diseased, and you might be too. Are you having trouble with seeing, eating, and walking? Are you having trouble with other fine motor skills? Are you finding yourself getting more confused lately? Or do your fingers, legs, or arms seem to jerk suddenly and uncontrollably? Go to the doctor. Don't be confused by other neurodegenerative disorders. You have a prion disease. Although there is no treatment for you, and death is inevitable, the more you know about variable Creutzfeldt-Jacobs disease, the more likely we can keep you from spreading it to others. Variable Creutzfeldt-Jacobs disease. Are you afraid your cow or family member has transmissible spongiform encephalitis? No, we care. Call 1-800-MAD-COWS to report incidences of occurrence. In the meantime, please do not consume human flesh or other infected species. Also, you should cease to feed your cows uh, other animal products. Also, clean your tools with a 5% hypochlorite solution or autoclave them at 15 psi, as this disease is not stopped by other methods of disinfection such as heat, radiation, or formaldehyde. Thank you so much. Are you afraid of the zombie apocalypse and zombies eating your brain? You should be more afraid of misfolded proteins eating your brain. These misfolded proteins have an incubation period of up to 30 years, meaning you could already be infected, and these proteins are just waiting to start consuming your brain. And once consumption begins, you only have about 12 months to live. Prion diseases, they eat your brain. Did you know that 85% of DU students had no idea how to say transmissible spongiform encephalitis? Of that 85%, 100% had no idea what it was. Transmissible spongiform encephalitis. Know how to say it. Transmissible spongiform encephalitis.